Hey y'all, thanks for tuning back into Jacanic. I hope everybody's having a great week. So, everybody keeps asking, what's in my drawers? Well, today, you're gonna find out. But before we jump into today's video, if you're a fan of saving time, money, and frustration while fixing your own small engine equipment with in-depth tutorials, you have come to the right place because that's what I do. I upload about two to three times a week, and if that sounds interesting, hit that like button, smash that subscribe, and don't forget to hit the notification bell, and please leave a comment. I love to read through the comments. All right, so we come inside and the first thing you're gonna see is our counter. And right here is my workbench because while I work on things, I still have to help customers and sell parts. So this is my spot. This is where I work on stuff. Current situation on the bench, a couple of Husqvarna's brought in that are, you know, in dire need of some TLC. Pretty much everything is wrong with these except the piston cylinder. The piston cylinder is great. They have a really nice compression, but they have uh, broken primer bulbs, you know, needs carburetor kits, fuel lines, fuel filters, leaking tank vents. So. I'm going to get these all fixed up, but I already did a Husqvarna video, so I'm not going to make the, a video out of these. Next is my toolbox. You know, then I've got that miscellaneous stuff sitting under the counter. But in drawer number one, tons of adjusting tools, a lot of, you know, extras of everything because my drawer is a catch-all for, you know, everyone. And they all come digging in it whenever they want to find it because I'm the only one who actually puts my tools back. So yeah, it's chaos. And I know I haven't shown you all before because really it's sort of embarrassing, but um, this is what I got. I've, I've got lots of adjusting tools in my top drawer and, you know, scrunches because that's what I need and multiple sizes of them. I don't know. I got dental picks my feeler gauge for the steel uh, Formix, multiple T27s, my eight millimeter nut driver, my favorite tool of all time. It's got the skinny end to get on, on everything. This is actually a steel tool, love it. The next drawer, that's where I keep all my pliers. Um, I do actually have a good set of clines. Um, these are to get in the way back of the gas tanks on lots of things. And then, you know, these are my favorite to stretch out those fuel lines whenever you need to put a fuel filter on or something like that. Love those. Oh, and I can't forget, everybody has to have a pair of these. I do have them in my, um, on my Amazon wish list that I need to get myself some too, or somebody else can get them if you want to. But if you don't have any, you can find them there and get yourself some because they're awesome. And in the bottom drawer, screwdrivers and sockets and everything else that I, you know, need a lot of the time. But it is really, it's just a hodgepodge because like I said, I'm a catch all and if somebody needs to really find something, they come to my drawer because that's where it's at. And here I keep my Torx, my Weeha set, which I love because they're awesome. And then I have my do not open box. Now this is because my husband likes to run off with my stuff and anytime I need super glue, I can't find it because somebody's run off with it. I got my socket marked that nobody can steal to take out all the exhaust screens and the uh, steels that get clogged up and replace them. So that can't go anywhere. I also have my thread lock so nobody else can take it. And usually I have some electrical tape in here, but somebody's obviously taking that. All my, whoop, all my socket adapters and driver bits. That's my do not open, do not touch, do not take box unless you ask. And last but not least, this is where I keep a lot of my special stuff, which I need to get a box for. Um, that's just my caliper, but this has a ton of adjusting tools in it. Um, it's got, you know, piston stops and you know, just your miscellaneous hodgepodge of stuff more adjusting tools, uh, limiter cap removers. Yeah, so I 
gotta get a box for this, but it's a box of good stuff too. And then it's nice because directly behind me, I have all the stuff that I could possibly ever need. I've got spark plugs, primer bulbs, pull rope, fuel filters, in an arm's length. So that makes it super handy to work on stuff. So that's it guys. I know it's not really exciting. I'm a little embarrassed, but you asked and there it is.